The crash in the opening sequence of The Six Million Dollar Man was a real crash, except that the real pilot did not need to be turned into a cyborg. The crash footage was taken from a 1967 flight of the M2F2 lifting body. Lifting bodies are vehicles that look kind of like potatoes with wings, and they generate lift by virtue of their aerodynamic shape. They don't have traditional wings and control surfaces like an aircraft. NASA researched these vehicles throughout the 1960s, but the problem was the M2F2 had a known lateral instability problem. On the flight in question, pilot Bruce Peterson was at the controls, and his nose pitched right. He tried to cancel the motion, but then the vehicle started rolling. As he approached the dry lake bed for a landing, he realized there was a helicopter blocking his way. He managed to avoid it, but the slight distraction cost him time, and he hit the lake bed without his landing gear deployed. He tried to give himself a little bit more time to get that landing gear deployed. So when he hit the lake bed and bounced back up, he fired his rear-mounted engine, but he only managed to get the landing gear partially deployed before he hit the lake bed again. The vehicle ended up skidding and rolling end over end six times before coming to a stop upside down, with Peterson hanging from the straps. He actually walked away from the crash. He had one broken bone in his hand, and the canopy had come loose, so he had a fair bit of scraping on his forehead where he'd been dragged across the desert surface. He ended up losing his eyelid because of that injury, and then a staph infection cost him the use of that one eye, but he was back flying airplanes in 18 months.